Welcome back to Tech and Things. This is your host Mario. We are here to discuss the two innovations that we have on the table. And the significance of these two is that they are the ones that have outlasted the others. I've had the Sennheisers, the Sony's, the Bose. Um, I've had the, you know, uh, what is it, the um, Elites, Elite 10s by Jobber. I've had the Soundcore Liberty. I've had the Bowers and Wilkins, I've had the Bang and Olisons, I've had them all. Um, and of them all, they seem, earphones in general for Bluetooth have seemed to fall into this category of having a lot of issues when it comes to reliability. Either stutter problems or with the Sony's uh, or the battery uh, problems that Sennheisers were known for connecting to your device without ever being used or without ever being removed from the case. Um, things like that or having to uh, unpair and repair your device according to the bows or having to sacrifice the ability to um, increase volume or to even use ANC with things uh, associated with Bang & Olufsen's. I mean the list goes on and on. Um, even devices like um, one of my fund devices like the Denon Pearl Pros who have amazing sound quality, possibly one of the best sound qualities, if not the best sound qualities in Bluetooth devices today. Um, I've had to send back twice because of failures, hardware failures. Um, another item um, that I found was amazing and should have been on this table um, was the uh, Cambridge Audio um, Melomania M100s which had, again, amazing sound quality, amazing tech inside of it, but sensors went out, you know? And I know technology is going to fail, but when you consistently find failure over and over and over again to the point where it's actually affecting the function and the moving forward or use of the product, that becomes a problem for me. So with these two on the table, I believe represents the least amount of failures all the way up to zero failures. So for me, the Earphone Air Pro 4s are the ones that have shown that they are at least almost as perfect uh, as they need to be. Um, they've had some glitches to them. They've had times where I've connected them and they did not actually connect to the um, uh, ANC. The ANC wouldn't connect, could not engage and then there was a problem with the software where it would not actually you know recognize the earphones uh, during that same stint. Um, all of that was taken care of when I put the earphones back in the case and took them back out and they never had a problem ever since then so that's why this gets a lot of kudos uh, for being on this table with this which is the only earphone that I've had that had zero failures whatsoever. Zero glitches, zero firmware problems, zero software glitches, zero stutters, zero fails whatsoever. Nothing, nothing, that, this, nothing that this item did or did not do uh, disappointed me. Um, it had amazing phone call quality. Um, this has good phone call quality, but this has really, really, really good phone call quality. And that's another thing that I give this a lot of praise for because a lot of earphones have abandoned the concept of talking on the phone and the quality that you need when talking on the phone. Even things like the Jobber who have always been known for their phone call quality, they're not good anymore. They're not as good as they once were. Um, things like the Sony um, uh, XM5s that claim that it has the best phone call quality, it doesn't. Uh, the actual uh, Sony LinkBud S's have the best phone call quality in Android devices, period. Um, if you're going to Apple, then yes, AirPod Pros, I would go definitely for phone call quality. But things like that is the problem or the probably the gas that fuels the um, buying of earphones or Bluetooth earphones over and over again by consumers is because you can never find all of what you want in one package. Well, this is the closest I've ever found right here. And even it isn't just perfect, perfect, but at least it is perfect in what they claim they can do. In other words, this is the first product that every single thing they say they can do, they do. They're not waiting on firmware. They're not glitching out. They're not stuttering. They're not doing things that they are required to do and don't do 
they actually do everything they're supposed to do. Unfortunately, one of the things that they say that they can that they do is only four and four point five hours of battery life when you're using LDAC, which is inc included into this product. Sound quality is amazing. Uh, the timbre is good. Um, it has a very good wide sound stage. Uh, it has a very good touch surface. Um, the only complaint I have is the fact that it does sacrifice when it comes to the battery life, which only gives you 24 hours and seven hours if you're not using the top Kodaks. Like I said, if you use uh, ANC, then you're fine. You can get seven hours, sometimes eight, and uh, you can get, you know, a little bit over the 24 hour range. But if you use LDAC, you're not going to get the power that or the battery life that you want, which is a down a downfall part of this item because you want to use LDAC because it's the you know the best Kodak for it. You know you can tell the difference between LDAC and ANC when it uses it. Um, but one of the things it tries to come back and kind of give you back is the fact that it can connect to three devices, which is the first I've ever heard on any Bluetooth device as three multi multiple devices at one time. That's amazing. This deserves a lot of kudos for doing that. And that is again why it's on this table. Um, having that said, um, with that in line, the sound quality, the phone call quality, the three devices mixed up, you know, mixed into it, the, you know, never having any failures, uh, good to touch quality. There are some negatives that are not its fault, but more or less whether or not it's subjectable to me. And one of those things, it fit. It fits me great, but it does make my ear sore over time. And it's because of the, you know, extensive width of the earphones themselves. They're pretty fat. Um, unlike the ones for the earphones. The earphones are L-shaped um, earphones. And you may or may not like those. That's something, again, that is subjectable to you, the viewer or the consumer. You're going to have to decide if, if an L-shaped earphone is what you want. Most people typically roll with you know a circular design more you know um, universal design like the techniques um, <clears throat> the L shape has fallen out of favor with people because I think they associate it with Apple and if you're not into the Apple ecosystem then you're really not fond of anything that reminds you of Apple kind of <clears throat> so that is how things opened up for the earphones which prepare yourself has a laundry list of benefits and sub, you know superior quality. For one, it has 52 hours of battery life compared to 24. It has better bass than the Technics, which has good bass, just not the kind of bass that's on these. The bass is layered. It is it is proper in its in its application. It doesn't bleed. It has a eight band or what well, I'm sorry, it has a ten band EQ system, I believe, for this as opposed to six on the techniques. It has um, better comfort than the techniques. It has a wider sound stage than the techniques. Matter of fact, it has the widest sound stage ever on Bluetooth devices that I have ever tested. And you've heard the brands that I've had and heard heard of the amount of tests that I've done on them. You can check my channel for those. But yes, this has the widest sound stage I've ever experienced on Bluetooth devices. Um, it also has aptX lossless and LDAC, not just LDAC. It also has Snapdragon sound. If you have a you know a phone that has Snapdragon sound processing, this is going to take advantage of that, and it's going to make it sound like it's a wired connection, which is the top of the line, what you can do with, you know, sound for, for your phone or for any device that you're plugging up to. Um, it has also AuraCast, if you're interested in that. Me, myself, I don't really find AuraCast something that I'm, that's pleasing to me, but the AuraCast is something that everybody's touting, everybody's bragging about, and it is something that is delivered with this product. It has good phone quality, but just not the best of you know of these but it, it is among the best out there 
Um, and like I said, the comfort, again, is going to be subjectable to you, but it is more comfortable for me. Um, the only other issue that I see compared to this is the touch surface is very small, a circular touch surface versus the, the circular touch surface of the techniques. That seems to be uh, a little bit more pronounced on the techniques, something that you don't have to worry about mistouching. Um, but at the same time, you can come back and say, well, at least I don't mistakenly touch anything on an L-shaped you know, earphone such as the earphones. So you can go back and forth between that. That's going to be up to you and preference to you, right? So overall, these are great earphones, um, Bluetooth earphones that I have on this table and they deserve a lot of kudos and any one of the purchases will do you just fine. They're going to be better and more reliable than 99% of the earphones out there that I've experienced and if you're thinking about one of these purchases, the only other kudos, the only other, you know, check mark that I believe takes this over the techniques is the fact of the price difference. $299, $80. So <laughs> that alone, I know a lot of people say, well, look, this is great for $80. I'll save, I saved that fact for last because it has nothing to do with the performance over this or any other earphone. It doesn't matter if this was $300 or $400. It's still what it is. It's still better. And overall, it's the best earphone that I've experienced and my favorite earphone of the last two years, if not of all time. That's the praise that I have for the earphones. They have stepped it up. They, they deserve the awards that they've gotten, the VGP awards that they've gotten. Um, and for me, there, there is no other conversation on the table if you're looking for the best all-around earphone or even the best sounding earphone uh, next to the Denim Pearl Pros. Um, but the Denim Pearl Pros, they don't have the checklist that these have. So, <clears throat> overall, the decision is yours, guys. I hope I've given you enough information so you can make your own decision. And um, other than that, thanks for watching. Taking things, signing out.